I am freaking out that you said all of those things about me. I am nerding out so hard right now. Oh, I'm so glad that you feel that way because it is a love letter to how you've really built this career in many ways on your own and on your own terms. You know, you are the only female in the late night juggernaut world. How does that feel? It's exciting and it's humbling because obviously it's a huge honor to be the first or only anything, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't come with a lot of pressure, you know, a lot of critique, a lot of trying to meet people's expectations. So really it's just the journey of me learning how to be my authentic self, doing what I think serves me and my audience best and learning a whole new world. So it's, it's a lot of everything, personally and professionally, to be honest. You really are the person who creates the tone, does the writing and the producing, and has a part in the directing, and you play all these different characters. You really are in charge of your own destiny. How do you collaborate with other people when you're getting notes and critiques and figuring out what's working and what's not? What's your process? Because I'm in the same boat. You know what, for me, it's, really important to kind of take the reins of my creative because I do know that I am a minority on screen. I do know I have a very specific point of view and a very specific voice and I wanna make sure that comes through. However, I have to balance that with being open to feedback and criticism, especially, you know, I talk really, really fast. And so if NBC comes to me and says, slow down a little bit, I need to not be a sensitive artist and I need to say, okay, that's a good no. Or if they say, hey, this joke was repetitive, I need to not be a sensitive artist and take that note. So it's finding the balance between voice but being open to collaboration. And I'm so grateful because NBC has been great at collaborating thus far. I love hearing that because whatever problems I endure on this show, I feel like the ones that have to do with me, like people are like, turn down your volume a little bit or like do this or do that or we want less of this, more of that. I feel like I can control that because it is within me. I can't control the pandemic. I can't control that we don't have a studio audience. I can't control all those things, but I can, I can have a hand in making the best show in this environment that I can possibly make and you are the same way. What made you change to the house environment? Such an interesting call. Love it, it by the way. For sure, like you mentioned, you know, during the pandemic, most late night hosts were like, I need to get out of my house, back into the studio. And I was like, <laughs> reverse, I want to go into a house because it just feels more me. You know, my career was very, could very much be described as DIY. I made videos in my house. I've always had this friendship rapport with my audience where they, I feel like I can hug them through the screen and a house just feels right for that. You know, I, I think we're on at 1.30 in the morning. I want people to feel like they're hanging out with a friend. So we walk through the house. We don't have an audience, but the crew was kind of like my audience. And it's just a lot more me, Drew. It's like, we're not doing takes because I mess up. If I don't hit the mark, we embrace it. We make fun of it. I walk around in my Spanx. I make fun of myself. It's like a great time just with friends. And I don't think we could accomplish that in a studio. I love that you are self-aware and astute to make that kind of a call. And I was so excited to talk with you because as a woman who loves comedy and talk, and I was on Instagram for years just talking to myself, you were breaking glass ceilings in YouTube and showing what was possible. I have such a fascination slash admiration for you, Lily. I think what you're doing is incredible. Thank you. I appreciate that so, so much. I don't know if uh, your segment producer told you this, but I feel like as a, as a younger person, when I watched Never Been Kissed, it actually really molded a part of me to become who I am today. I think the reason I'm so about kindness online, you know, against cyberbullying, about just welcoming people in is because when I watched Never Been Kissed, it was the first movie I watched where I thought, I actually feel a pit in my stomach because of the portrayal of this character and this is making me want to be a better person and I can't say that's true of any other movie I've watched as a kid so you literally your performance has made me who I am today truly I just want to tell you that I'm glad that I could have something in my body of work that speaks to you because everything you're doing speaks to my core values being true to yourself uh self-generating not waiting for the phone to ring but creating those opportunities 